conceal emotions that we ain't supposed to feel We open up new wounds before the old ones heal It's cold as hell, I try to hide my broken self But if we can't be real with one another, no one's real But maybe real is overrated Let's not overthink it or debate it Just avoid an altercation I keep running from trouble that I've orchestrated I was born distracted, you were born impatient Despise this tricircus, tracing my steps, I pace in tight circles I don't see gray, you're great, then I'm worthless You said we need to talk, I'm nervous Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's stream. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having a great day. Um, turns out my internet is some, like, chat, did the test before I started the stream, literally pressed go live, and internet dropped by 3,000, like, by rate. Why? I don't know. Why? does it do this so worst case scenario the stream ends and then we reset the internet again i don't know i don't know man i don't know what it is um cody and sky and, sky and welcome i would say skiing by accident sky and welcome chat how have you been how have you been it's been a couple days uh i'm okay update about the hospital uh because some of you might know i was at the hospital for uh a brain scan uh, good job, internet site. So, yeah, is it looking crusty? I mean, it's slowly climbing. Okay, now it's where it should be. It's like slowly climbing. I don't know. Internet is crusty, but that means everything's normal at the stream because that's how it is here. Uh, yeah, so also just add Saison, welcome in, welcome in. Um, so update, I went to the hospital uh, in my island. Me and Skyen have a good time in the festival. That's good. I didn't even know there was a festival. I haven't even been in there so update with the health health update uh i don't have results obviously for the test but i did go get the test i did go get the test um it was not as scary as i thought it would be but i also read up about like what would happen at the hospital what they would do how everything was gonna work so i think that helped me be less nervous um because i knew what they were gonna do so basically the test was a spec scan um, I kept calling it a brain scan, but it's actually called a SPECT scan, and it's actually the, one of the only scans that will be recognized if you try to apply for disability, which very well may happen um, in my situation because of my brain injury. If any of you don't know, I had a traumatic brain injury a couple years ago, and I have definitely not healed and in fact just gotten much worse, um, which is why I'm able to stream it all the time because I don't have like a traditional job. This is technically my job. This is what I do. Um, I love to do this, but uh, yeah, so that's basically what's going on so looking for some conversation because chad i got the bills and i gotta pay the bills somehow so plus it was a work accident so i'm supposed to be covered technically where i live you get covered when that happens so to get covered i have to go through all these tests to prove that i am indeed or i indeed am still having problems and have uh problems with my brain so this spec scan is like the one that you'll see in like uh movies it's the one where it's like rainbow looking and you know it shows a brain from the top and it looks rainbow and they're like right there an inflammation or something in a movie that's what the scan is it's called a spec scan it's the only one that usually gets recognized um now it's a relatively i think new like a newer technology when i was looking it up of course you get the bills before the results exactly exactly and a welcome in hey are you i'm good i'm good just talking a bit about the uh spec scan the brain scan that happened on the uh weekend so we go up to this this hospital place it was actually like no one was in there i was worried because i haven't left my house but it was actually really uh chill in there it was uh not too crazy there was like barely anyone in there um you know we go in masked up everything um and you know show them my ids whatever i go in 
to get the scan and i thought i was gonna have to like remove my clothes because it's essentially like an x like have, if you've ever been for an x-ray usually you have to remove your clothing right because they don't want any metals and stuff in there because it's essentially like an x-ray of your brain essentially that's kind of kind of like what it's like um but they have to put <laughs> the chat i was scared they have to put radiation in your blood it's a very small amount but i was nervous about that uh it's called a tracer so they 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 and they chat they do it by i thought it was a needle okay i don't really get that scared by needles as long as i don't look usually i'm okay um i used to look when i was a kid i would just look and watch them put the needle but i don't do that I, and, the, and the lady was even like do you faint when you get needles i'm like no i'm good like i just look away and then i'm good um but it was not a needle chat it was a iv i've never had that before i've never had one in my I think I might have had one in my hand once, but I've never had one in my arm. And so I'm good with needles. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good. As long as I don't look, I'm usually chill. So, But I do look when they take blood for some reason. Is that weird? Like it's, and I only don't look for the initial poke. After the initial poke, then I look. It's just the initial poke for some reason I don't want to look that much. So it was a, it was a whole thing and it would like, oops, IV, how to go. It was okay. I currently have a huge bruise across my entire, like where your arm bends, because that's where it was. And I think it's not, it's not her fault. She was very nice. It did not hurt that much when it first went in. It was when <laughs> I went to actually get the scan. I was lying down and she wanted me to put my hands like on my stomach, basically. She tied me. Okay, we'll get there. We'll get, we'll get there. Um, so she does the IV. The doc She's super nice. Doctor is super, super nice. Um, or the technician is really nice. She puts the IV in. She puts a little bit of this tracer, which is like a small amount of radiation in. And it basically it goes through your blood so that it, it picks up your brain and they can take the scan of your brain. So it worked in like three parts. The first part is I go in a dark room. She takes pictures really quick. They're like 2D pictures, she said. And then I stay in a dark room for 10 minutes because they want your brain activity to level out. And then they take uh, more pictures. Um, and then she injects more of that tracer stuff and then you wait like 20 minutes and then you go back in and they do a whole 3d scan and a mini mri that took like one minute just because she said the mri puts every all the pictures layered together to get your brain i don't know it was very interesting so it was, a, it was like about an hour and a half process but it really didn't feel that long so you know when when she takes me in to do the first pictures i lie on this like a stick it's not even like a bed i lie on like a stick okay <laughs> and like uh there's this metal plate that gets so close to my head chat it was like literally almost touching my eyeballs it was so close to my face and then she put she uh i still had the iv thing in and then she said she taped me into the into the thing chat it was weird like there was a i don't know like a not like a blanket but like a you know like when you go to a doctor and sometimes i don't know if they have this everywhere but in canada they have, they have this thing where you go to the doctor and on the bed they have paper and it just kind of rips off like paper towel so no one ever lies on the bed bare. You're lying on a paper, essentially. Sometimes there, it's better than others, depending on where you go. But it was kind of like that. It was this huge paper thing. So I didn't actually touch the bedding, uh, like, or not the bedding, but the little thing that I was lying down on. And then this, this bedding thing, she wrapped it around me and then taped me in there. And I was like, what? She like, she like, she's like, keep your arms straight. And then she starts taping me in, and I was like, I did not expect this. So she's taping me up to this bed. And then she, <laughs> I was like, okay. And then she wanted me to like cl close my other arm because the tracer went into my left arm. So she wanted me to like basically bend it to put it like on my stomach so she would tape my hands in. Uh, and when I did that, oh, chat, I should not have bent my arm. The tube, she said, was larger than a normal IV tube. Uh, and so she's like, because she kept asking if it hurt and it didn't. And literally, um, when I bent my arm, I let Shippa also welcome in, welcome in. I didn't say welcome. Um, when I bent my arm chat, that IV thing, oh, that slap chat, that hurt so bad. Uh, I literally was like, oh, and I went like that. She's like, oh, are you okay? And I was like, oh, I can't bend my arm. <laughs> and she's like, oh, no, no, don't worry. So she put my arm on a separate table just lying beside me. <laughs> But yeah, so I think that's why it bruised, honestly, so badly, because I think when I went to bend my arm, I think I just shouldn't have done that. And from that point on, it was that area was burning and it hurt really bad. So it hurt for like half an hour, but the, it was fine. It was minimal compared to whatever anyone else is going through. So I was like, whatever, I'll just I'll just deal with this. But yeah, uh, I got this iodine tracer, I think twice because of my thyroid. Such a weird feeling. Yeah. OK, so chat, speaking of how it feels. So this thing in the when you look it up this tracer is supposed to feel cold they say when it goes in your bloodstream it you can feel it be cold i didn't feel any cold chat i smelt cold and i tasted like plastic 
Like I knew when she was putting it in my body because I could feel it. I could feel like something was going in my veins. I could always do this. Doctors always are like, you're really hyper aware of your body. Like you are very aware of what's going on in your body. And so when she put this tracer in my, like in the IV, my whole body felt um, like I just felt like tingling. Like I knew something was going in there. And then the, <laughs> and then I, I tasted like almost like um, a sa like hospital sanitizer smell. It's like as if I could taste that, but it was also plasticky. It was very strange. So I knew as soon as she was putting it in my body, like I knew when she was putting it in there. And the, when she put the bigger dose in chat before the 3D scan of my brain, chat i saw okay so remember the plate i said was near my head there was like a little cross on it like uh almost like a little like uh like you know in games like a little it's almost like a little crosshair and i was looking at it chat and as soon as she put this huge dose in i smelled and tasted that thing so strong and then all of and my i actually my my uh, iv area did burn after that i don't know what that was literally chat the 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 uh little like um cross looked like it moved to the right and it was rainbow and i was like what in the world and i was like did i just get high off this like tracer I was like there's no way i got i don't know what happened to me chat but when i walked out to my dad because i had to wait he looked at my eyes and he was like your eyes are completely dilated he's and i was like really he's like there is no color in your eyes anymore he's like it is completely dilated it was pretty funny he was just like are you okay i was like i don't know i saw rainbows in there. it was pretty funny max b welcome in good things to hear good to hear things weren't too stressful yeah it wasn't it wasn't crazy it wasn't too crazy i was tripping i was tripping on some radiation i don't know what happened that was really weird that was the weirdest part and then they put me in this machine where everything was spinning around me and chat there was dust and tape in there and i was like i'm sorry are you holding this thing together by some tape like hello <laughs> i was like what also um also art welcome in yogi rams art welcome in uh i think to be honest i think anytime they put the radiation or dye in it bruises like crazy yeah i also bruise really easily chat she got so I have, uh, I most likely have a genetic blood thing. I was supposed to go to hematologist and because of COVID, I didn't end up going, but now I'm looking into getting one now. Um, because as y'all know, I've had issues with my blood and stuff. I talked about a couple weeks ago. Um, so I'm on some medications to regulate. And uh, when I, when I, when she, after she took out the IV, I guess it was bleeding a lot, which I expect because I bruise extremely easily and I, uh, you know, I, 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 my blood is just like not very good. And so she, <laughs> she like removes the thing and she's like really holding my arm and she looks a little panicked. And I was like, I, I expected it to bleed. And I, I looked at her, I'm like, is she okay? Um, genetic blood thing, fancy. Yeah, they don't know. I don't remember what she said it was called. It's some rare blood thing, but it, she said it, it, I went to a, um, like a gyno about it because I was having some problems. Um, with like periods and stuff like they weren't stopping and it was really bad and so and I, i've had a family member like generations ago die from something that sounded similar so i was like we got to get this checked out and so she was like babe you probably have some like blood things you're pretty healthy she's like i think you have a genetic blood thing go to a hematologist and i didn't go to that <laughs> which listen chat it's covid so i'm going now because it's a, a little bit better trying to find doctors is a little bit easier but not it's not crazy easy it's definitely still hard but yeah so she when she removed the iv she was like uh you're bleeding a lot i was like yeah it's okay i was like i just like i told her i was like i, I have this genetic blood thing they, they don't know exactly which one it is but that's i have to go to a thing i'm like it's fine and then she's like all right yeah just really hold it it's yeah and she seemed panicked like i was gonna get mad and i was like no it's i was like it's totally fine like it's uh it's fine like i was not worried i was like it's okay and i just like held my arm um and then when i moved the thing chat there was blood all over the gauze i was like dude she probably thought she like hurt me or something she was probably scared that she did something wrong and i was like because she, she all of a sudden she's like do you take blood thinners i was like no i just have like bad blood i was like it's fine <laughs> it was kind of funny i thought it was kind of funny she was so panicked because i was like i was not panicked at all i was like no it's totally fine but she seemed worried so that was kind of funny but yeah, it went good. It went good. So apparently I'm actually going to get the scans of my brain, which is kind of cool. Chad, do you know this scan can actually also see if you have depression? They're going to see everything. <laughs> They're going to see. It can tell if you have PTSD, if you've had trauma. Um, they're mainly for me looking at if the blood is flowing correctly in my brain because after brain injuries your blood usually does not flow very well um, And that causes parts of your brain obviously to not work and that's probably what's happening with me So that's what they're really looking at but they can tell all kinds of stuff iron man welcome in 
They can tell all kinds of stuff, chat, from a spec scan. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. So yeah, I'm I'm feeling good about the scan. Um, I do. I have to drink a lot of water because I have to pee out this tracer. Apparently, apparently you pee it out over a couple days. So what is it? It's been two days now. So by the end of today, it should be out of my system. I've been drinking a lot of water. Sorry, I just hiccup. Uh, I apologize, but yeah, I probably should do the scan. Honestly, it. I don't know. Like, if you need to, it's you know, it's an interesting scan. It is an interesting scan. But yeah, apparently they'll send me the pictures because I like to see the pictures of my x-rays and stuff. Do you like that chat? Do you ever like when you go to like a dentist or something, do you want to see the pictures? I always ask to see them like x-rays and stuff. And doctors are always weirded out when I ask. I'm like, bro, even if you did a little scope surgery, I would want to see it if you had a video of it. Like, I like to see that. I don't like uh, but of myself. I don't like to watch surgeries and stuff. I don't I don't know why I don't like that. But like if it's of myself i'm like yeah i want to see that so i want to see these brain scan pictures chat i want to see these brain scans i think it'd be cool yeah but apparently it can tell it can tell if you've had trauma it can tell all kinds of stuff just by like the colors and everything in there so i really hope it helps out it was a really good thing we've been waiting for this appointment chat for like two and a half years it's been just ridiculous to try and get this appointment in the first place it was hard and then to get it scheduled and stay scheduled was hard so claps in chat we got it the health situation will hopefully be dealt with also chat you know how i've been trying to uh be healthy and lose some weight your girl lost four pounds since february 11th that's pretty good i'm proud of myself that's a healthy pace i'm not trying to go crazy i'm just trying to be healthier and i think that's good and not push myself i've really found that i cannot do even remotely what i could do before the brain injury because i get very dizzy after doing the elliptical um so i have to do that in very paced very spread out days i can't do it every single day because i get just i feel like i'm gonna throw up and all stuff but of what i've been able to do and health eating healthier i think that's pretty good claps and chat we have good news we got <laughs> we got good news for that i was i was pretty good or pretty happy about that when i checked today um also want to see the pictures yeah, if I can, I'll show you. I'll have to see. Because they might have some stuff on there, but I'll have to see. If I can, I'll let you guys see it. I think it'd be interesting to see. Uh, in Germany, you normally get a disc with the pictures as well. They used to give us discs, and then they stopped. Like, they would give you a disc, but now I request them. And they always look, like, frustrated that I've requested them to send them to me. I'm like, I'll pay your money. Give me those. That's my pictures. <laughs> let me see. I love seeing it. I love seeing those pictures. So, yeah. I like watching uh, surgeries on here. Surgeons are nuts for being able to cut people up and save them. Yeah, I chat. I cannot do that. That's why I'm out here playing video games because I cannot do that. Um, but yeah, okay, chat. Uh, before we move on, today we're gonna play Horizon. Dude, my internet just dropped. If it does this all day, chat, we might just have to end the stream and I'll reset my internet and come back. It was literally fine when I tested it before the stream. It was chilling big chillin okay uh we have a thing we have a thing chat drum rolls drum rolls chat big shout out to max b for gifting not one but two items off the wish list i was shooketh max b i was literally half asleep on my couch because i'm exhausted from this whole ordeal i've been peeing non-stop getting this tracer out my blood system and i've been i was just like passed out half awake and then i saw that max b gifted some stuff off of the wish list so big big claps big shout out to max b thank you so much um for getting me the elgato wave wait elgato wave mic arm lp um as y'all know you probably always hear me adjusting my mic because my little boom arm's broken it's being held up by a weight in a box so i appreciate it thank you so much max b that's gonna help out a lot and then also getting the phone grip so that i can like see how this happens that's because it's on a little you see how dumb that is that happens a lot it's on a little uh i don't even know how to describe it. it's like a little phone holder but it's like suspended so it moves so when i move sometimes she keeps moving when i'm done moving so now i'll get to secure it to my light right in front of me and it won't move so thank you so much max b i appreciate it big shout outs 
to max v if you ever want to get anything on my throne wish list y'all been popping off saison got something like max v got something y'all have been popping off if you want to get anything from the wish list the link is in the description down below um there's a ton of different items on there you don't have to get something expensive don't feel like you have to do that and you don't feel like you have to do it but i'm just letting you know it is there and y'all like there's some stuff on there that would help out the stream and i always explain on it why i need it and how i would use it so we will be unboxing these things when they come here live on the stream and it should be really exciting i'm really excited that's like the boom arm that i wanted like I, when i saw them release that like a couple of months ago i was like you know what that would be so helpful for my my desk to be because right now my screen gets blocked like if I, you guys see me do this i'm trying to see parts of my screen i can't see because my boom arm's in the way and it's broken so there's a box always sitting on my desk and there's a line now on my desk from the box it is a mess it is a mess but I but it's gonna be solved now with that with the arm. So thank you so much. I'm so excited. We got we got the Lego coming in May from Saison. We got these two things coming. I don't know when these will come. We'll have to see. But yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it, Max B. Thank you so much. So yeah, that was really cool. I want to make sure I shouted you out on stream as well. Um, no obligation to get something, just very kind if you do. She ain't getting nothing from me. But <laughs> love and mustard. That is okay. I appreciate the love in the stream. Yeah, I don't expect anyone. Honestly, I'm always shocked when something gets bought off there. It's kind of crazy. I'm like, what? Like, what? They want to support me? Like, I always get, like, shook. So thank you so much. I appreciate it very, very much. And I want to make sure I shouted you out live as well. Um, my internet is dropped down to... It is dropped... Okay. Chat, I might have to stop the stream to restart it. Isn't that annoying? Before... Listen, before I test... Before, when I did the test, before I went live, okay? Before I pressed the go live button... My internet said it was at 150 megabytes per second, okay? And all that mean the upload speed, which means we should have been a good solid eight. We are now at 850 out of the 8,000 we're supposed to be. Which means you guys won't be able to see the game. <laughs> if I win a raffle or a lottery or something, get you something. No, no worries, no worries. No worries. But also do that. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. Nothing better than hippo love. True okay chat what do you think should we just restart should we just restart my internet it takes 10 minutes for me to restart the internet and then turn on the stream again i don't know should we do that because we're gonna be like running around i'm gonna put a little poll i don't even know if i spelt anything right in there i'll do a poll what do you guys think it's only gonna take like probably less than 10 minutes but it's just because i have to turn off the whole thing it's so silly i was like should i turn it off and it was it was working perfectly good I'll let y'all decide because you guys are seeing what it looks like, but it does keep dropping. Like it's only at a thousand out of 8,000 right now, which is that's, that's a little rough. That's a little rough. That's a little rough, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, excited to play today. I don't know if we'll finish it today, chat. I truly don't know if we'll finish it today, but we will definitely, we will definitely try to finish it. I don't know if we will though. I don't know if we will. Do, 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 do. All right, chat is saying 100%. Yes, 100%. Yeah, it's not coming back either. I think y'all are right. I think y'all are right. Uh, probably should if we're not able to see the game otherwise. Yeah, if it's looking crusty now, it's gonna look really crusty. Okay, let me see how should I go about this. How many times can I accidentally close the stream? Good Greg. <laughs> Good Greg. Good Greg chat. All right. Y'all will, are y'all good? We'll wait. F okay. It'll be like five minutes. Good grief. Oh my gosh. I thought you said good Greg. <laughs> I thought you said good Greg. Okay. We'll have to do a bit of a thing. I wonder if I can leave it live. If I can just stop OBS so that the stream doesn't end. Do you think I can do that? That might mess up the whole stream. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to end the stream. And then reset the internet and then come back. I did say Greg because of autocorrect. I thought you meant to say Greg, though. I thought you were like, Greg, like, good Greg. <laughs> that should be something we say here, chat. Good Greg. Good Greg. And everyone, will, everyone new will come in and be like, who's Greg? And we'll be like, good Greg. How do you not know that? <laughs> Okay, yeah, the internet's not coming back. Okay, we're gonna have to do a reset. All right, I'm gonna end it real quick. Do a reset and come right back. So don't leave, chat. 
also you can see what streams are coming up we're playing mario kart again this week together are you excited mario kart's so fun okay let's see if i can end this and then i'll be right back good game not good greg <laughs> true 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 all right i'm gonna reset it give me a minute chat and i'll be live again sorry about this so frustrating so oh my gosh this thing lost my face see when i move it loses my face this thing is so annoying okay oh my screen's just turned black i can't even see my i think something's wrong with one of the ports of my graphics card and that makes me very want to throw up because that makes me scared because i don't know how to fix that <laughs> And this computer was from the States. They ain't going to send me anything. Okay. Great stream. I love the stream. <laughs> okay. No, I'm going to come right back and we'll play Horizon. I'm going to come back and we're going to play Horizon. Let me just reset.